So here's how I feel about Britney Spears. Hmm, why does my opinion matter? Who asked me for this? First of all, at what point I was actually working with the firm that represented Britney Spears until recently when they parted ways. Second of all, I grew up product of Disney. I get asked all the time, what is it like to go through the Disney machine? Which I guess that exists, but not in the way that people think that it does. I think that when people think about a Disney machine, they think that it's just like an old studio system that doesn't exist anymore. And I do think that this happened in some way, shape or form to Britney. They get like development deals and during this particular period of time or contracts, they're meant to do certain things, like they're gonna be the star of a certain amount of movies. They're going to be able to produce certain things or I don't know. This is, this is an old school way of doing things that isn't really done anymore. And when actors and big stars were under contract with studios, they were obligated to act a certain way stay a certain weight, date certain kinds of people. Like it was extremely hands-on. The Disney machine does not exist the way that people think that it does. And that's why. So Britney is a young performer. She's a girl from a small town. She obviously loves to sing and dance and her parents put her in to the business and she does the Mickey Mouse Club. And from there, I'm sure she recorded some demos and became wildly successful overnight with Hit Me Baby One More Time. This is my perception of what has happened to her life, okay? So I grew up loving her. I grew up enjoying her music. Some of it was better than others. I tended to think that, you know, some other people showed a little bit more vocal range like Christina Aguilera, but I think that she was a killer dancer and I think that she had wholesomeness to her that everybody loved so much all throughout the 90s and the early 2000s that ultimately was her undoing when you think about it because you're only gonna disappoint people if you're America's sweetheart at a young age because you're gonna grow up and you're gonna make mistakes. That's what's gonna happen. But she was a really hard worker. And if there's something that you can say from looking a mile away, you can see that this woman cared about her family, cared about pleasing people, cared about being the best at what she did and what she did was entertain people and she cared about her fans. That's a lot of work. I've been watching recent media coverage and I've been in text chains with a lot of ladies that have grown up with Britney and everyone is a buzz about what's going on with her right now. Her conservative ship has been sort of disbanded. Her father, Jamie, is going to step away. People are throwing fits about you know, what's going on with her relationship to her family. And I can tell you that it gets pretty complicated when your family starts to work for you. I can speak to this because my mom did work for me on the books for many years. My dad was the head of my security for a while. At one point, I think I made my sister my treasurer, but that was kind of only on paper. I laughed because I thought that my family would always be a part of my business because it made sense to keep the family close. But everybody's got their own assets and liabilities and personalities and interests, and everybody needs to make an income so they can justify working for you. So it becomes complicated when you think about employing your family members. My mom was my manager for a really long time. She worked super hard and she sacrificed so much. I will always be grateful for what she gave me, which was the opportunity to be who I am today. It's complicated, however, when you know your parents are coming to you because they need an advance or they wanna tell you that they think what you're doing with your life is wrong. You look at them and you can't process them as just a parent anymore. Your relationship with them is not normal at that point. They kind of take any normalcy that you could have with them about being an authority about your behavior, your career, or any life lessons that, that you might want to learn from them, it kind of becomes a little bit hazy. There's like a filter. And you, as a young person, kind of are looking to them like, well, why am I gonna learn from you if I'm your boss? See? It's complicated. So I don't suggest that families should be paying each other this way. This is not good. You know, the traditional model of having a family member work for you, it's usually like the mom or the dad employs the kids to kind of come up and take over the business or things like that. This is a completely unnatural way where it's the child is now paying the parent. I don't think it's safe for anybody really, because I think that it's not safe for the parent. Because if you think about it, the parent's like, oh my gosh, my kid is my boss, but I have 
intentions for them and I need to tell them how I feel. It's kind of bad for everybody, everybody involved. I just know what I lived through as a fan and as somebody who was coincidentally in a parallel universe, like I was doing my own career and I was coming up and we were in the same world of the industry, except she's this mega, mega, mega star and I'm just a TV star. I remember that she was on the Disney Channel for Jet Jackson and she was always doing things with Disney and she was just so wholesome. But it was always like, when she turns 18, what's gonna happen? Which is totally sick. So we saw Britney Spears become a person before our very eyes. She was this wholesome young girl, and here she is hanging out with the likes of Lindsay Lohan. She's like showing up on red carpets with like Colin Farrell, getting messy and like not looking wholesome anymore. And everyone just bugs out for a while. I mean, her music has always been fun. She's always catered to her fans. She is a super hard worker that's never ever changed. Even through this conservatorship, she has been working her butt off this entire time. She's been in Vegas on contract and been a slave for them, you know what I mean? And, and like, that's sort of true to her, her song and I love her so much. I, I, I think overall, I can understand the arc of this. I am encouraged about the fact that, you know, she does have someone in her life who does care about her and she's engaged. She has been with other people. We've all seen that that didn't work out for her, but who will ever really know why things worked out and didn't work out and whether that was tied to her mental health. I will tell you this, I have struggled with a lot of different things that she struggled with as well. I'm sure there was alcohol and bad relationships one after the other. She was way more in the public eye way more paparazzi, way more complications when it comes to that stuff. You don't have any sense of self. And I remember watching one of the documentaries about her and how she was just really upset about what was going on with her custody battle. And that's when she kind of went AWOL and she went and she shaved her head. <sighs> Why are people so confused about actors and performers being human? What's so confusing about it? I guess it's because we're just trained from a young age to idolize. And so the concept of idolizing something is to hold it so high above you that it's not human anymore. You know, inclusion, body positivity, people all being on the same playing field, it's like a really big thing right now. People being kind to one another is the best thing to come out of that movement. Being kind to the people you idolize is important. You know, giving them grace to learn from their mistakes. I'm sure this poor girl has learned quite a lot and has had to pick up the pieces of her life so many times. And she has had so much encouragement from the Free Britney movement that she actually came out. Who even knows if all of the conspiracies are true and the little signals she was sending and those Instagram photos were calls for help in the end? It doesn't really matter. Where we are now is that her dad's gonna step away and she is now going to be the master of her own universe, or so we hope. If you had somebody in your life that was struggling with mental health and you thought of them as somebody that you held dear to you, the only thing that you could really hope for them is that they could find the right people to guide them to the place that they need to be safest in. Just because Britney may have gone to certain places because it was ordained by her conservatorship to go and she went unwilling doesn't mean that she wouldn't necessarily need to go seek help or seek different medications or different support groups or stuff like that. Mental health is very tricky and she has trauma even if it's just from what she's just gone through with coming out of the conservatorship that I think as a community that's actually really trying to do something positive for the Free Britney movement. I think the best thing that we could hope for her isn't just absolute sheer independence without any team behind her or any kind of strategy for her mental health. I hope that she's got guidance and she's got the right people around her. And if there's anything that we can learn to tell people that we know who are struggling, it would be, hey, like, look, I'm here if you wanna talk, my experience is just that. It's just my experience. I hope that it could help you, but you don't have to listen. And I don't have expectations of having anybody listen to me when I tell them things. It just is what it is. I am very happy for her. I really am excited to see what happens with her and her engagement. And that would be really great if, if it all goes well, because this lady deserves love. She deserves love from all of us. She de deserves love from her family. And hopefully there's a way to heal that. But you know, once you introduce that payment structure into your family, it's kind of traumatizing to the family dynamic. So I, d I don't know how that's going to be managed, but hopefully they get some 
some counseling for that too. I hope that we can all give her support and positivity and hope that she gets the peace that she deserves.